week we are kind of short of uh, screen estate because we have a lot of things. So, today instead of us presenting the show, I'm Daniel. <laughs> I'm DK. I'm Justin. <laughs> and I'm David. Yes, and uh, you're watching Gear 65 episode number 35 and today we have two gadgets to show you. This is the Samsung N120. And uh, Samsung N310. And these are both netbooks by Samsung. Two netbooks and four presenters. This is Gear 65 number 35. So we have two netbooks today, and um, but the thing is that both netbooks have this uh, almost identical specification. So you know, before we start talking about you know what actually matters with a netbook, uh, for those of you who are actually looking at netbooks for the first time for some reason, let me just tell you the specs. All right, it's the same for almost every netbook. This, this is an Intel Atom processor, uh, 1.66 gigahertz. Uh, they call it the N280. This is a newer chip. It's running on Windows XP Home Edition. Has one gigabyte of RAM. It's a 10-inch display. It's backlit by LED. Uh, that means that the screen is uh, turns on very fast doesn't require to warm up, right? Um, it's a built-in graphics card, obviously, a 160 gigabyte hard drive, and uh, this is something that's uh, kind of one of the strengths of the Samsung netbooks, and that is it has um, Wi-Fi, BG, as well as N, right? Most no most netbooks only have B and G. This one has N as well, and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much uh, all there is that is actually identical. The rest is um, design, right? right? So whenever you look for a netbook, it's always about design that differentiates and the extra features. So let's talk about the design of this one first. This is the N310. Actually, let's close it, close the lid first. It's very nice. Um, has a very, it's, it has a leathery texture. The casing is very unique. It's very so unique. So far, yeah. we've never it's seen anything a, like a this. little soft kind of casing. So it feels very comfortable in the hand. Right. Um, that is because you know it has to feel comfortable because it has to make up for all that weight. This is the heaviest netbook we've ever played with. Um, so even though it's heavy, it's comfortable to hold. 1.35 so kg. 1.35 kg. Yeah, it's very curvy. You look at this, all, all the curves everywhere. So yeah, it's, it looks good. It looks very nice. It's very comfortable to hold as well. It's just it's so heavy, right? Um, then let's take a look at the pots. Let's bring it up close and get it to focus. And there you go. Uh, Kensington lock USB. This is the USB port with extra power. They actually have that inside this netbook, so this is pretty cool. So you can use this to connect to like uh, CD-ROM drives, external CD-ROM drives, and uh, hard drives that require extra electricity. Right? This one. This one actually has this one. Uh, Ethernet port and has a little cap, which is so, similar to the HP Mini One Thousand, but at least it's more obvious. Yeah, because uh, right. Um, a headphone as well as a microphone jack, which is good. All right. You have a SD card reader, only SD, it only takes SD cards, right. it's not spring loaded. And, and the SD card uh, protrudes out when you extract it. Out. So, this is actually the dummy card. If you notice, it's, uh, SD cards are about double the length. So, when you actually fit the SD card inside, right, it's actually, um, you know, it will stick out. Right. To demonstrate, we've got an SD card right here. So, we just take this out and we're gonna put this one in. And yeah, it's gonna stick out like this. Alright, uh, so you can't leave it inside there. You right. will, you know, you'll definitely You're break definitely in half. Break. La, yeah. So, and then you really don't want. Uh, Broken SD card inside such a beautiful casing. Okay, uh, and then you know this the this is a this this is one of the design elements that made me feel is very similar to the MacBook. I'll tell you a little bit more about this later. Right on the other side, you have two USB ports. So in total, you have three USB ports. Uh, VGA port. It comes with a rubber cap. If you actually buy this netbook and you use VGA a lot, I recommend you just get rid of this. Uh, don't bother. Mm. Right. Uh, if you don't, you can just, just you know try not to lose it. Uh, power and uh, yeah, that's about it in terms of uh, so specs. coming back to the two v um, the two USB ports. Yep, does it about? does it include the uh, the extra power for this two? No, USB it ports? doesn't. So, so only, it's the, just only one. this one. Yeah. So you can okay. see there's an extra electricity like thunder symbol on the side. Yeah. This is the one with the extra power. That means power. That means power. Yes. Or it could use. It could also mean the people section party. But you know, there's another <laughs> story for another day. Um, yes. Yeah, so let's take a look at the design in general. So as I say, it looks very similar to um, the MacBook. Um, right. This is a chiclet keyboard, right? This, we call this a chiclet keyboard. Basically, it means that the, the keyboards are raised, and uh, you know you can see the outlines very clearly. It's quite comfortable to type. Uh, it may be a slightly smaller than other. Ninety-three percent. Ninety-three percent of the normal size keyboard. Uh, it's smaller, definitely smaller than the HP Minis, but it's very comfortable to Actually, type. Nine, HP Mini is also ninety-three percent. Uh, HP was it? Yeah, but okay. this feels smaller. I think maybe uh, it's because of the the keys are smaller. But the thing is that you can touch type with this because the right. separation is very well and the keys are flat. Yes. Even even when I even though it's a little smaller, the space in between them. Whenever I type on a chiclet keyboard like this, it feels good to me and it feels a little bit um, like it has a little bit more room for error because of the spacing between. And I really like this kind of keyboard. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's a very nice keyboard. Uh, and the touchpad as well, so it's, it's pretty, it's actually pretty normal. It's a one piece though, the button is one piece. 
um, you know, to push left and right. Like. He doesn't really like. It. I think it's fine. Man. It's, it's okay. okay. Yeah, it just mean just means that you can't you know press in the middle. You have to press at the sides. Uh, yeah, so that's just pretty much the design. One thing to note, the status light, you won't be able to see them when you close the lid. Yeah, the status light, the status lights. Is, uh, the status lights, this one, yeah, once you cover it, you can't see the, the key. So the you tits. don't know yeah. whether, is it uh, plugged in to charge? Yeah. Unless you open it up. So, um, yeah, so the display, this is a glossy display. Um, it will be a little bit difficult to see under direct sunlight because it just reflects everything. You can see my right. face right now. Uh, and then uh, you know it's 1024 by 600 pixels is slightly taller by 30 pixels compared to most netbooks display right uh, webcam is right over here it's at the side though it's not in the middle and when it's on you can't see a, there's, there's no indicator to show you that the webcam is on microphone is on this side yeah I'm not sure why though the, the webcam is on one side but you know yeah, that's, one that's thing it. about this screen Samsung advertises that it is scratch scratch resistant yeah uh, we haven't got a chance to try it yet yeah, but we will take their word for it. <laughs> right. well, but if you have one and you want to try it, record it down and send it to us. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. All right, let's move on to the next one because that's got oh, speakers are over here. Right. Uh, that's uh, the, the, the thing about this one. Uh, so it's you know six cell battery by the way, very big battery. Uh, the battery life is they claim it to be up to about nine point eight hours. Our testing we got about seven seven, seven hours. hours. Yeah. So real realistically, seven hours is still longer than most batteries, but right. it's really super heavy. Right. And, and it costs eight nine nine. Yes. And that one was eight hundred ninety nine. So this one is seven ninety nine. This is the N one two zero. Uh, the design is a lot more ugly. Uh, this is the traditional, you know. No, well, it's normal it's looking. Normal, right? Even the HP Mini looks better than this. Really? Okay, but anyway, this is very standard netbook. Uh, it's uh, 799, and um, you know, so the the special thing about this one, right, is that you know, okay, the speakers are at the side, and it has a subwoofer. It's right underneath here. It yeah. actually has a subwoofer. Uh, you, I, I don't know lah. To me, you know, I would didn't really use this. You can feel the difference in the sound quality, but mm, yeah. why would you want a woofer on a snapbook? Yeah, it's not. If you really, really that think that you need it, then maybe, yeah, then maybe this is the one, one for yeah. you. Yeah. Then oh, it's almost identical, right? Uh, right. In terms of like the the, the the ports are all exactly at the exact same place. Uh, the difference though is interestingly, um, you know, we mentioned just now, right? The N three one zero actually has a special powered more powerful USB port, right? right? As one, right? This one actually has two, so if you actually take a look here, right? I'm just uh, getting to focus with it. Which means it's more powerful. Yeah. So you actually can, <laughs> it has two, two electric, it has two thunderbolts instead of one, right? And then it, the other side, it only has one. So, you know, three three USB ports and uh, two of them are actually extra power. Other than that, the, the ports are almost uh, in the identical positions. As the, the keyboard is slightly bigger, uh, 97% nice. the original size. Mm, yeah. Uh, but it's a pretty standard keyboard, lah. Yeah. So Which I find more comfortable to type with the M one two zero compared to three one zero. Oh, is it? Mm. Yep. Yeah. It does. The thing I like about this keyboard is that it feels quite soft. The, you know, it's a bit. You know, it's not the uh, like the, the HP Mini, right? It's a bit like too ding 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 ding, ding clicky. Yep. Yeah. This one does not have the same screen as the yeah yeah so the don't N3. try to yeah, scratch, scratch it scratch so this one. one please do not scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to scratch it please video it down and send it to us yeah. we always love this kind of thing so how heavy is this uh it's lighter it's a little bit lighter, <laughs> uh, lighter. 1.28 kg but yeah, still kg. not the lightest uh netbook um, we yes. see in the market it also has a 6 cell battery and it, it, it can also last around seven hours uh, uh, the, the, it claims to go up to eight hours but yeah seven hours six to seven hours is what six. we got all right. So in, in summary, right, um, the, the 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 netbooks, right, the N three one zero is really uh, it's pretty good. It's eight hundred ninety nine though. It's pretty. This is a normal price for netbooks today, you know, on the market. Right. Uh, but it, it's a very great design and um, it's a very nice keyboard and good feel and all. It's uh, just available heavy. in black and dark blue yeah, in Singapore. Black and, dark blue. and then the other one at the bottom, which is gonna squeeze down at the bottom right here. Uh, the N one two zero is seven hundred ninety nine. It's also uh, relatively more expensive. Um, and it comes in white as well as black. black. Yes, that's right. And seven hundred and nine Singapore dollars. Uh, not really a fan of this one. Not that it's bad. It's just that this one's better. So yeah. you know, yeah. I really oh, like the uh, hundred dollar more. Is definitely have to be better. Yeah, yeah for a hundred dollar more, more uh, I, I would I would rather fork out that hundred dollars yeah. for the N. So yeah, if you're looking for something that book, go to the N three one zero. If not, you know, uh, you might want to look at uh, something else. So, that's it for this episode of Gear sixty five. You can email us gear sixty five at tech sixty five dot org. You can visit our website, check out all our past episodes and all the gadgets that we've played with at www.tech65.org. And I'm Daniel. 
I'm DK. I'm Justin. And I'm David. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.